Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today it's time for another country streak challenge. I thought I'd give this one a go. How many countries in a row can you get right? Single player and default settings for now. I think that those are the settings that I scored my best streak on, which was 15 countries in a row on the 22nd of October. So it has been a while. Uh, I'll start the game and see how we do. Not sure if we'll try and if we'll beat that score this round, of course, but I'll give it some good goes and um, sort of an adequate number of tries, shall we say, before uh, before calling it quits this evening. So um, I will see how we do. Come on, let's see. Uh, can Mutfak is Slary. Interesting. Don't recognise that writing at all. Very peculiar. Um, Hmm. The question is, which way to go? Red pill or blue pill? Let's go this way. It looks like there's some stuff in the distance, maybe, or maybe the edge of the city. What do we have here? Looking at bins can be useful because they're often sort of provided by, by you know, the government. Um, so nothing there, though, at least nothing that I recognize. Who knows? Maybe that says in some foreign language, government of x country and i've just completely missed it but you can't know them all so not sure but we are approaching a main road which should help and we are on a main road oh interesting i didn't i wouldn't have imagined that we were so close to a highway there but um well we were so that's good um now there could be some interesting signs here it looks like you know there's, there's quite a lot going on here and possibly a flag so mm, no more like a political sign maybe but oh actually what was that i think think we spotted some flags they were flying high and of course the the sort of in-game cheat here is that you can use the flag of the country to just double check where you are that's the flag i'm looking for we did see one there very good. And I think it's Turkey. Boom. Sorted. We can do it from space, I think. Turkey, I'm pretty pretty sure that's the Turkish flag we're looking at. Yeah, totally. Done. First one down. And we were in the European side of Turkey, which is quite interesting. It makes up a small percentage of the country, obviously. Uh, around, well, I don't know where we were, but we were on the E87 road. Okay, next round. Right, a brick wall. Not many clues here, but possibly some this way. Right, we're in a pretty European-looking town. Um, we've got some writing here which looks possibly Polish. Mestska Polici. Do forgive my pronunciation. Um, and I don't recognize this language here either. Tabor. Possibly Polish, maybe? It's a shame because that's the information spot as well. So it would be good to... It's the sort of tourist information sign. Um, Tabor is... I, I, I don't know if that's a town or not. Or Mestska. Mestska. Might also be a town. Oh, look, we've got all sorts of signs. You know, these words all look Polish to me. Look at this fantastic building here. Beautiful Christ uh, sculpture there. Dot CZ. That's right. Okay, so we're in, in Czech. Dot CZ. That must be it, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure. No, not Austria. That would be wrong. Not Hungary. What am I doing? dot cz um yeah i think i'm pretty confident in that interestingly i it's, i see the uh the the geo guesser sign that says czech republic i i i'm don't think it's called that anymore i'm just going to double check but yeah it's chechia just to be clear so that's uh incorrect on uh on 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 the geo guesser flag name there it's chechia right so that should be correct the czech republic i don't know okay fine 
Czech, it was the Czech Republic when I was going to school in the 90s, but uh, not sure about that anymore. This could be England. Um, we are not in England because that car is sitting on the left. Possibly Denmark. The good thing about the Scandinavians is that they fly their flags, so should be able to tick this one off relatively easily if we get out of here. We've got Skoll, so school, that's good. Just a case of getting out of town. Hullen, this is absolutely Denmark, I'm 100% convinced of it. So I uh, would like to find something to confirm my convincement, but I would, if I was on a time limit here, guess. Denmark. Uh, didn't find anything this way, so I'm just going to go back because sometimes it's just quicker to go back to the start and try again. Um, uh, I feel like I'm at a dead end. Yes, I probably am. Uh, let's go up here. I would just hate, you know, if we rounded the corner and saw like a Swedish flag, for example, or something, something stupid like that. Come on, flagpole. Come on, scroll up. No. Oh, goodness. So frustrating. Why aren't they flying their flags today? Come on, guys. Here we go. We've got some signs. Maybe there's a sign for... E seventy seven and E fifty five. We will sorry, E forty seven and E fifty five. We will use those street names to confirm the roads that are in Denmark. Do load. Geo Gesser is being a little slow today. Uh when I tried playing earlier it was down, so um you know, uh, obviously there's a bit of a problem. E forty seven and fifty five, that's right. So I can see the forty seven there. Let's just double check that the fifty five is there. It's plausible that these go into um that these go into Sweden and share the same number. Forty seven, for example, goes up here. It'd be interesting to know if that road in Sweden is um also called the forty seven. It's not, it's called the four. So look, I'm pretty convinced about Denmark. Um and in fact, we saw the 55, didn't we, already? It's down here. So I'm going to put us in this neck of the woods. Although, of course, that doesn't matter. Guess. Correct. And were we in the right spot? I know I said it doesn't matter, but it does now. I think we were in almost exactly the right spot, in fact. So there we, there you go. Would you look at that? I think I put us down there, but we were... We were pretty bloody close weren't we so excellent we're on a bit of a streak now so touch wood we're doing okay slow down a minute work that's right it is me i am working to figure out the city or the country that we are in uh somewhere fabulously tropical here look at all these great places great homes with the palm trees and everything um Clearly English speaking though, so touristy, and in fact there's some European looking ladies over there. So um curious now to know as to where this is. I wouldn't be surprised if we come across a tourist destination, such as a hotel or something like that. Oh, I was hoping for a sign there, but uh, no sign. It's actually just a blue fence post. But let's just see if we can sneak a peek in there. Iglesia. Okay, interesting. That is Spanish. And I've all the places. I didn't think that we would be Iglesia ni something or other. Okay, interesting. Right, Spanish speaking. That could put us in Central or Southern America, of course. Uh, it looks pretty tropical here. Uh, so, and it is English speaking, so clearly it attracts, you know, a lot of English speaking folk. Hmm, not sure on this one. What 
do we have here? Just, I, I don't think those are sort of national flags. Um, we do have some banners and some streamers around. Though I don't recognize any national colors from here. I'd have said that we're possibly in Sri Lanka, actually, to be honest. Hard to tell from the sun. It's pretty, pretty sort of, um, I don't know what the word is, but like it, it's very brighter all around here so hard to tell exactly where the sun is in the sky so that's not going to help um all we can do is progress let's just keep going i mean i don't know iglesia is that portuguese if it's portuguese we could be uh in brazil also an option is the philippines uh, look, some more colored flags here. I don't think they give it away. I think, uh, you know, you see a lot of sort of Spanish in the Philippines, right? Am I am I making that up or is that true? Um, so we're possibly there. Although by the time I actually guess this round, I'll have said every country in the world, won't I? So I can't claim to be pre-guessing places. But having seen some of that um, Spanish language, that is an option. Gov Bambi Emano, El Salvador City, El Salvador City, that might be the only clue we get, frankly, where is that, fly to El Salvador, where are we, El Salvador, and I think there is an El Salvador City, uh, maybe not, yes, San Miguel, I don't see one. San Salvador. I mean, that might be it, of course. You know, this is the sort of thing where you may find that... Oh, we've lost it. Let me go back one. Nope, it's gone all black. This occasionally happens on GeoGuessr. Bit frustrating, that, because I'm trying to get a better look at that guy's poster... Um, well, okay, I'm going to continue just for a bit longer, but I'm conscious of the time and do want to press on. That's as good as clue as any at the moment, and I'm inclined to take it. Um, I have no idea what El Salvador really looks like. I'm not very familiar with it. Um, so this, you know, this looks plausible, certainly as a Central American uh, country. Uh, we do have to stop and try and look at some clues. What was that? So let's just say we're going to use this sign. Bag Sakan. Tried fish. It, it would make sense. It would tee in with the language with El Salvador, I think. Uh, National Food Authority. Yeah, but which nation? Come on. Oriental, El Salvador again. Look, I think that, that those are two pretty good clues there. We've had two things that say El Salvador. Oh! What? What? That is so frustrating. Davao City. We did talk about the Philippines. El Salvador City. Oh, the Philippines. Why did it have to be the Philippines? That is so frustrating. Oh, well, uh, let's play again. Start the game. Look at this green and verdant land. Right, um, the sun... is bang on to the west so that is hard to find out um quite flat landscape i mean we can see just for miles i mean look at the look at that view just for a second there and those clouds oh good a cloud as any have seen that's fantastic 
there's some beauty in an empty landscape sometimes. It doesn't have to have much in it, but the sky is big here. The sky is big, just almost like Texas, you know, the sky is big. Uh, but this isn't Texas, this is probably in Europe, I think. Uh, we're a long way at the moment from anywhere, so let's park it here for a second and see if there's any signs. Uh, my initial guess would be France, but I don't know. We're a long way from anywhere at the moment. This is where we find out we're going down the, the, the track all the way to, you know, some farmhouse. And we should have gone in the other direction. Um, I'm going with France over the UK because there's no hedgerows. And that is a telltale sign. I'm just trying to click as far ahead in the distance as I can in order to progress. Yes, that's right. There we go. What do we have here? Quick pause at the only sign of life for a while. And there's not a lot there. That's right. I, I don't see much, I'm afraid. Nobody's flying flags out here. Um, I haven't even seen an indication of the language. That would help. It would help. It's the first country, though, so we'll... We'll go for a guess. Uh, I did just see a sign, so backing up. Back it up, back it up. Hmm. Merge Luciai. Absolutely no idea. Cruopii. Cru what the heck? Cru Cruopii. Absolutely no idea. Um, well, we're not in France. We're definitely in Europe. I'm going to go for a guess and say we're in Poland. I mean, it's pretty flat. So I'll go with, I don't know, it doesn't have the, the, it doesn't have the, you know, the accents like Polish has. So maybe we're in Hungary or something like that. That is, it's a bit of an unusual looking language, I think. So perhaps Hungary is the better, better guess. I'm going to go with Hungary. Nope. Okay. We were in Lithuania. Play again. Well, thank goodness it was the first one. Let's try again. This streak uh, challenge might take a while. I think 15 is a good, uh, you know, it's a pretty good record, to be honest. And, um, well, I'm quite happy with that. So, you know, it might, might I'm going to have to sit down one day and crank out a huge video um, in order to beat that record. Or maybe something we speed up and put it at two times the speed or something. But, yeah, it's going to take a while. Um what do we have here? This is an interesting one. The road is pretty mangled, which makes me think that we are in quite a northern area. Um, you know, this is possibly Canada. We shall confirm it in just a second. By looking at this signpost behind us as we pass it. Just have to turn around. Ah, possibly Canada. What am I on about? Galima Dangos, Deformatia. Right, okay. Well, we're looking south. I'm going to return to the start. Oh, goodness, now I can't remember which way I went. Which way did we go? And the reason I say return to the start is just because... Uh, did we go that way? Oh, no, I've bottled it. It looked like there was more of a town behind us when I turned around just then, so... Oh. 
goodness, it's a pretty... No, we went this way already, didn't we? I re recognise this little turn-off. Not sure about this one. Going to go in Europe. Curious to find it out, and not curious to spend much more time on it. I'm going to go with Hungary again, because I don't recognise the language. Oh, Lithuania again! Goodness gracious me, I need to learn some Lithuanian. Right, I'm going to go for one more round now, so wish me luck, because if we do get along... Uh, if we do do a good job here, it's going to take a while still to complete. Um, so let us just give it a try. Right. What do we have here? Do we have... Right, we've got some Arabic. Oh, I thought that might be writing on the side of that truck, but it's just rusted. Uh, awkward. Um... Lots of Arabic. Very good. We're on an east-west road. It looks pretty major. I wonder if there's a good view out here to the to the left. Oh, there is, but it's behind these buildings, unfortunately. So nothing there. Can we find out from this taxi cab where he is from? Not really. What do we have here? The petrol station that exists here. Oh no, we got another look at the taxi. Automatic, okay. Very good. What is this, Total? Yes, it is Total. Hmm. We've come off the main road now, but that's probably no no bad thing. Curious on this one to figure out where we are. A lot of nations in... Well, this could be in the Middle East or in Africa, I guess. Um, you know, a lot of nations do sort of proudly fly flags. So, what does that say there? The Highway Mall. But there's something over there, isn't there? On this golden sign. Al Etihad. Interesting. Etihad. Etihad is a national uh, air, airline carrier. Uh, but for who? I think it's for the UAE still. It's just not the Emirates one. It's it's the UAE, but for uh, for Abu Dhabi. But I uh, might be wrong there. I think I just saw a dot .jo on the side of this uh, car. So .com.jo, I, I guess that means Jordan, and it's as good a clue as any, so I'm going to go with it, um, just to sort of kick this round off if we can, and try and breathe some life into this. So where are we there? We've got Lebanon, uh, I'm just looking for, uh, Jordan, sorry, what am I doing? Yes, there we go, right, let's go for it. First one down, boom, I think we almost guessed in exactly that spot too, so very good. On to numero dos. Right, we've got some snow. So we are in an alpine nation of some description. Let's get into the town here. What a fantastic, crazy view. I mean, look at these. Look at these homes here up in these hills. Just incredible. I've gone a bit quiet because I'm uh, just not really sure what I'm looking at, to be honest. It's an alpine town, but it looks sort of half deserted, um, which is uh, one to think about. Finally, a sign. We're on here, and quite hard to tell what that says. So 
Not sure. Let's get a better look at it. Right, well, we've got some Cyrillic here. I mean, you know, Russia's as good a guess as any, but you don't see many places in Russia like this. They don't land on, on Russian on Russian soil up in the mountains that often, but who's to say that's a reason to not guess it? There's no real, real logic there. Of course, there could be mountainous places that are, you know, flagged on GeoGuessr in Russia. So let's just progress. Don't see any flags. Don't see any. Don't see any signs. He says coming straight across the sign. So that's good. Let's see what this thing says. Come on, to go with what clues we can here. Interesting. I mean, this looks you know pretty Russian, frankly. So uh, you know, I don't think there's any reason to suspect it isn't. We're only on a streak of one, so we may as well make a guess. Um, Aha! Uh -huh. Now we've got here some flag, and it is not Russian. So, we will go by the flag trick, I think, in this case, and figure this one out. Now, is that... I am just gonna gonna click around. Is that possibly the Bulgarian? I think it is. Would you look at that? Bulgarian flag. I wonder if it'd be good just to see if there's a a mountainous region in, in Bulgaria or not. Yeah, it's absolutely that flag. So I think we've nailed it. Um mountains maybe around Sofia? I, I I think not sure. Yeah, there is a this sort of green green range here, although this does feel sort of truly alpine high and, and, and we're clearly not. But look the, 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 the flag fits and so does the writing. So let's go for the guess. I think we're pretty secure in this one. Right, on to the next round. And we're looking at trees. Okay. Going to just do perform the 360 and then figure out which way to go. Well, it's 50 50, isn't it? So let's go this way. Don't seem to be able to do that. Come on. A line. A line, young sir. Uh, and this really doesn't seem to be working. So... Not sure what's going on. Back to the start. Come on, try again. Now we're talking. Perhaps I was just clicking slightly too far ahead. Nope, it really seems to have stopped. Uh, I can assure you this is not my internet, which I tested earlier and has been working fine all day. This seems to be a little slow. And when I did try playing the game earlier, it was the GeoGuessr site was down. So who's to say they aren't still having some trouble? It's rare that it's down. I'm not on it 24-7, believe it or not. But, um, you know, I, I, I very infrequently can't access the site. But earlier today, I really couldn't. So, um, hmm. Looks like we're moving now. Who knows where we could be? I mean, really, this this could go on forever. So, oops. Well, this is um, ever so slightly frustrating. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'll just give it a second. Just load the page. Come on. And see what's ahead. I'm trying to progress at least to this junction. And we'll, we'll see what we can find here. Uh, if it's not going to be much, then it's not going to be much. And we will call it a day. Uh, there is a sign on our right. So that's good. We will try and use this 
to ascertain where we are. Uh, goodness, that is impossible to read. I wonder what that says. No, absolutely impossible to read, so can't rely on that, unfortunately. Um, I think, you know, we could be in, like, Sweden. Um, or, or Finland, even. So it could be somewhere Scandinavian. We've got got the right writing, I think. Um, just what can we see in the distance? Don't know. Not a lot. We could also be in one of the Baltic states. We've had Lithuania several times, and there's no reason to believe we're not there again. Um, it just sort of has that feel to it, I suppose, of, I don't know, being sort of northerly in the European continent. We're making a bit better progress now. Things seem to have sped up a bit. So we'll try and carry on. There's actually quite a substantial home here. Whoops, we, we skipped straight past that. Wow, what a lovely place that looks like to live. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. And there's some signs oh up ahead no they're not this really will be the last guess come on ah oh, great 150 meters we're going to yield very good well let's go to the yield point in 150 meters see what clue we get right there's also some buildings here so this is good are there any pieces of information Nothing on the, oh no, that's not a flagpole, that's a, uh, a light. But here we have some signs. This should help. John Jelgava and Regas Hess. That is a strange one. Um, That well, it's definitely not Scandinavian. So I'm. It's worth a guess, basically, in in these Baltic states. I'm 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 pretty sure, then that we're around here. I clicked on Belarus by accident. I don't think we're there. Um, so, I wonder if we can just sort of see it. Rigas. Well, we've got Riga here. So that's the capital of Latvia, I think. Um, Jelgava is there. And so, Juan Jelgava. Look, who knows? I mean, that's as good a clue as any. I'm really not going to spend more time looking on this one. I don't. I know Jelgava is not the same as Juan Jelgava, but it's, it's pretty damn close. Knowing my luck, it'll be Lithuania again. Oh, no, but it isn't. Good. We guess Latvia. That's correct. Okay, we are on for four. Let's carry on. .co.at Well, without further ado, let's just guess Austria, shall we? Of course, we could be across the border in in Switzerland or some nonsense like that, but I mean, you you know, you've got to you got to go with your guesses at some point, don't you? Let's just get here. I mean, this is plausibly Austrian, you know, we've got another sign of dot eighty. goodness look at that bus i mean this really makes you think doesn't it with covid now how different life was before uh let's go with austria two clear clues there next round interesting there's something tea rooms we've got groceries and a bar langtons well this feels british Bride's Stout. Absolutely, we're in the UK. It's without a shadow of a doubt, right? We're driving on the left and sitting on the right. It's just a question of where. It would be fun to find out. We've got Bob O'Brien. Well, actually, there's look at, look at this here. We've got Bob O'Brien, O'Keefe's, and O'Reilly's. So, we are possibly in Ireland. I think Keefe and Riley is a... Irish name and actually looking at the phone number there that is not a UK phone number so 
He says we are in the UK, but we might not be in the UK. We might be in Ireland. Cars are definitely driving on the left and sitting on the right. Matt Millers. What does that say there? John Street Lower. Yeah, okay. But look, we've got the Gaelic. We've got the Gaelic. Kilkenny Irish beer. Well, look, they wouldn't slap that on the side of the of the joint if they didn't uh, if they weren't proud of it, would they? So, I'm going with Ireland. Fantastic. Very good. Next round. I might try a um a no moving round on this just to see how well we do a country country challenge no moving i did uh when i used to play geoguessr on the ipad app version uh, i did try that once i'll try and remember if possible to link to that video uh now and uh and so i do did enjoy it um interesting two places here very familiar shibanik and split so we are in croatia i'd assume uh, yeah, I used to play GeoGuessr on the iPad. If you go back and look at my earliest videos, you will find them up there where, when I was a GeoGuessr newbie. And, uh, and yes, it's, um, yeah, I, I, I created it at the time, not knowing really that this whole online version of GeoGuessr existed. I challenged myself one day just to guess the country that I was in by, uh, looking around on the map. Um, I think without, but being able to you know zoom left and right uh, and in and out but not um but not progress down the streets and i i really enjoyed it it was fun and you could obviously impose those rules yourself on this game so um look i think we're in croatia back to the sorry back to the real game shibinik and split are two pretty big cities in croatia split is um sort of a very famous tourist destination here and shibinik is just up the road so let us go there that is correct we have done six. Next round. Pare. Right, again. Brazil or some other country in South America? That is always the question. We can go down here. And I think I will because I want to look at the bin again. I might do a video special one day. Bins of the world bins of the world and how to figure out your location based on them uh how fun would that be right um barrio barcelona rua telepicas that's interesting so it says i'd have said that that was portuguese but then barcelona is obviously a town in spain so it's a bit strange then that um that uh it would be mentioned here Vananas Magi Buffet dot club. Right. I mean it looks like a cool place, but um let's go up here. This looks like as busy a road as any, so we'll try and progress up here, see what's going on. So we've got more more Spanish here or possible Portuguese or something but um again you know knowing my luck this will be mean that we're in uh in in the Philippines or something who knows I still can't get over that El Salvador round goodness that's frustrating um but uh that is entertaining though still so what do we have here these signs feel like they should give the game away a bit does this actually mean we are in Barcelona I mean Am I am I silly to suggest that? We've had two signs here that say Barcelona on them. But no, look at that. That's I think there's two signs because we're on the same road. Uh the sun is firmly in the north. Um a partir. And and I think that this is Portuguese. I think so. I've been telling myself basically for a year now to to get familiar with the differences between those two languages and I still haven't so we probably never will 
but that just seems a little different to Spanish, which is what I'm slightly more familiar with. And given that the sun is in the northern hemisphere, I'm inclined to go with it. Of course, you know, it could be, you know, that could mean that we end up in, that we're actually in Paraguay or somewhere like that. And But I, I just think that a ten sal cow, for example, a ten sal, maybe it is, is, is not quite Spanish. But of course, I might be wrong probably stop speaking in case I am wrong I'll look like less of an idiot but I've said it now um Tapajos looks like you know there's more clues to be had here definitely I mean we're in a pretty major city so you know this shouldn't be difficult um but you know Ipiranga diesel we should be able to get this So, so Cateno do Sul. That is interesting. That's like a municipal district or something like that. So, you know, I, I, would, I would guess we're sort of down here, basically. Um, Katarina. Is that what that said? No, Caetano do Sol. So, and those those look like the Portuguese colours to me. So, ah, oh, this is. So, are we? I mean, but we're not in Portugal, right? I mean. That, that's clear the sun is in the north and we are we are definitely in in the south so you know that but the fact that they've got the portuguese flag colors there on the side of the truck again makes me think we're in brazil i mean i think we must be so i'm inclined at this stage you know it's been a while there's definitely more clues to be had in this city as we follow this this truck i'm sure we'll come across something but in the absence of anything else, I'm inclined at the moment to go with it and see if we can just get to the next round. So let's see what this sign has to say or something like that. BR there as well. So I think that that confirms it. Excellent. And we were in the south as well. So good. Next round. The streak is seven and we are on for eight. The last time I said that was the last round and then I failed. So... Let's um, try and do one better. Feels like we're leaving this town, which I'm often reluctant to do. I do feel like generally there's more clues in towns than than without. The only good thing about leaving a town is that you'll you'll get to find out. You know, you'll get to see signs for the next place. So Stefanov, okay. I mean that that's you see, that has the sort of this hat on the S, and I associate that with Polish to some extent, rightly or wrongly. So that could mean we're in Poland. Let's try the other way. We quite quickly left the town going in that direction. So perhaps there's more of it behind us. Uh, nice Audi there. Nice silver Audi sports vehicle. Um, hmm. Come on, seven. Star Prime and Beer, very good. Unfortunately, it doesn't help us. Could be, could be served anywhere. Um, does that mean we're in? Is it Cheshire? Is that where that's from? Um, Do 
definitely more of the town through here so happy to keep progressing this is clearly quite a residential area so not much in the way of information around here unfortunately something's blurred out ahead of us i don't understand sometimes why the game does that um and here look it looks like we're leaving the town again which is a little frustrating because there's not much in the way of clues around here yes and we're now firmly in the countryside so at the risk of going much further and just because it is getting on oh that's interesting what is that wow i guess that's a water tower but goodness it stands out in the landscape as being quite weird doesn't it um look i'm going to go out on a limb it's round seven um <laughs> So, reluctant to do so, because we're on a good streak, but sometimes we have to guess, and I'm going with Poland. Um, don't know why I'm going with Poland, I, maybe I'm basing it on that S. Let's just get in there and see if we can see any any places with that sort of S with the hat on it. I've, like Sezin, for example, it doesn't have it, does it? What about... Slovakia, so maybe Presov. Maybe we're in Slovakia. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Goodness, this is frustrating. What do we have here? Stefanov. Okay, so. And it's got the hat over the S. These, these places do. Kosuke. Kosuke, maybe. I don't know how to pronounce the S with the, the, the hat over it. But um, so, same here. Blan Blanska. I, I, I guess it's a sh sound. So it's st Stjanovnika, maybe? Uh, I'm feeling more confident now about Slovakia than I am about uh, Poland because of that but of course I mean it could be any one of these frankly so why don't we go out on a limb it would be a fantastic guess if it was Slovakia I'm gonna stick with it I think go for go for the guns and it's correct yes brilliant Slovakia thank you it's amazing this is why this game is fantastic you know because you can rely on so many different things. You can look at the people even and like, you know, their color and how they dress and, you know, where they sort of look like they're from in the world. You can look at, um, you know, the, the language, the trees, the cars, the landscape, the sun, you know, all the way up to the to the sort of solar system you can look at and try and decipher where you are. And I just think that that is absolutely fantastic. So... Yeah, I really enjoy that. We've got here .pl and some Polish, I guess, looking language again. So maybe, maybe that is, maybe that is where we are. Yeah, the the, the people is an interesting one. I mean, the the uh, recently I did a guess in in Russia and based on the sort of, um, I guess, you know. Europeanness of the of the folk and how they looked. Um, I I figured it was in southern Russia, which was really interesting, and that genuinely helped me find the right spot. So, uh, you know, the people is a fantastic one. The cars, you know, if it's packed with Fiat's or packed with Peugeots, you know, you know, you're in Italy or France, for example. Um, the architecture of the buildings. You get places like like that one earlier, which. Um, just looked British. It was actually in Ireland. We figured out, obviously, subsequently. But, uh, you know, it really helps you triangulate. So you know which neck of the woods you're in just almost immediately, which is really, really interesting. Um, I don't quite know which one I'm in immediately here. But I think, you know, this is more likely to be Poland, right? So we, we saw the we saw the .pl uh, URL. And then we've got things like SZ here, like that, like the city, I think is, we just said Sezen, no, is, um, is that, does that have an S and a Z immediately together? I think it might do. 
SZ. Yes, it does. Okay, look. So th this is po pointing me towards towards Poland. So again, I'm going to go with the guess and hope that we're correct. Yes, we are. Fantastic. Righty ho. Hmm. What are we dealing with there? Is that dollars? Yes, it does say dollars. Okay. The currency is another one to look at. I mean, you can tell you're in Romania, for example, by looking at the Liu. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Romanian Liu. I think we'll go this way. Um... Hmm. This is a tough one. Is that a boat down there? It is a boat down there. Goodness, that's a bit weird. Look at that. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see a boat. Alright. That's Alanas. Alahas, even. Uh, does that mean we're near the coast? Don't know. It doesn't feel like we might be. Um... What are we looking at here? What are we, what are, what are we thinking? Right, so I think we're clearly in the Western Hemisphere uh, dealing with dollars. Um, I don't know. I know, actually, I've, I've, I mean, what am I saying? Because there's plenty of other nations in the world that have dollars ar around the place. So I just don't know if they use the the dollar sign as their sort of... Um, I don't know what the term is for the, the symbols in advance of currency, but um, the sort of indicator of... So what does this taxi say on top? Nothing there, unfortunately. But P A I, no, nothing, nothing useful. Uh, perhaps we're in a bigger city than I thought, so it could be interesting. Um, keen to progress, and we may be by the sea if that's a boat that's been hauled out of water. But who knows? Oh, sign there. Definitely a sign there. Worth looking at. This could be a tough one, and I'm inclined again to keep it going by guessing. Um, This is what I'm, I'm trying to look at this one here, but it's just not quite working out for me, is it? Now, which direction is the sun in? Let's get there first. I think maybe we can say the sun is in the north there. That's quite hard to tell. So that ain't helping. Let's go a bit further. This could be a main road out of here. It kind of looks like it, it's wide enough to be a it's a pretty sizable road we're on, so you know that could be taking us to a highway or something. It's worth trying. Here we've got a partition in the road, so that could could help. Pausing to see the sign, but no real clue. So this place has a very slight sort of desolate, empty feeling to it. I don't know what it is. It, it's like there's things around, but it sort of feels a little emptier, and I, I don't understand that. Despacito San Augustin. Okay. Look at the way that that tree's been cut to uh, let, let trucks under it. How funny. I wonder if that's been done deliberately or if that's something that's just there. Uh, occurred over time due to the... Uh, the number of vehicles passing under it as well. Right, what do we have here? Is this Mexico? I think it's 
plausibly Mexico. Coming up to some intersection now. Yes, this is interesting. Okay. Oh, we've maybe made it to something useful. Right, there's a pretty major road through here. Um, oh, pretty hard to tell, I think. Institutio. Ah, oh, goodness. I'm not sold. I'm not sold on any of this. This is a funny one. We're in maybe more of a major town than I thought. I think I said that already, but, you know, I didn't expect to come across the road this big. I can see a green sign in the distance, so that's what I'm aiming for. My suspicion is Mexico, and if we don't really confirm that shortly, I will just go for a guess. Monte Cristi. Let's just have a quick look there. Ah, Monterey is what I was thinking of. Something here isn't adding up. Monte Cristi. Does this sign have anything on it? Come on. Monte, maybe that is something as well. It feels like a big place. You know, that's that's what's getting to me. It's it's a big kind of empty place. I ah. <sighs> Just looking for a sign, any sign, come on. More signs up ahead here, so gonna try and use them. Let's give us some clues. Lots of places here. Right, this should help. If we can't figure it out from here, we are done. So let's get them up. Esmeral. Esmeraldas is the furthest place away. There's lots of names there. I don't think that that is Mexican. So I'm just going to quickly check out the places that I don't know. Also, I think these these places are too mountainous. We're really... Well, no, there are mountains around there. So I just want to zoom out one more. And I'm just going to look for Esmeraldas because it's the biggest town on this map. And and you know, I feel like I mean we could be here for example in this region it sort of feels flat but then surrounded by stuff. So uh yes, I'm looking for Esmeraldas because it's the the furthest away city marked on this map, but it's still pretty major. Monteverde, is that possible? which must mean that it's a major town, which mu must mean that it's worth talking about, which must mean that it's on the signpost for a reason. So, of course, we don't have to be in Central America. We could be in Colombia, Florencia, let's say Pedarinas, Atacamas. The Atacama Desert, isn't that a place? Um, that they went to in Top Gear. Is that in Peru? I think it might be actually. In which case it's plausible we're in Peru. Um, Esmeraldas. You think Lima would be on the map then? Rocha Fuerte, Chone, Pedernales, Atacamas. 
the Atacama Desert keeps bringing you Esmeraldas. Bolivia. And for I, for some reason, I just don't think we're in we're in Chile or Argentina. So, what have we what have we missed? Ecuador. Did we go through Ecuador? Esmeraldas, Esmeraldas. Rocha Fuerte. Perdonines, Perdonales. Ooh, Esmeraldas. Hello, hello, hello. I was beginning to lose a bit of hope, but we might have found it. That is a long way away from where we are. So, what does that mean? It means we could be somewhere else, but Atacamas will be close. Atacamas is here. Then the next one is Pedernales, yes, which is down here. Oh my goodness, it's all coming together. And then it is Cruchita, which is down here. Oh, Rocha Fuerte. We're in Ecuador. I almost skipped over Ecuador. So glad we went back. Come on, please be right. Yes, we've made it. We've made it to 10. We're on a streak of 10. I do hope the next one's easy. I'm inclined to leave it here, folks, if I'm really honest. It's uh, just uh, the, 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 the amount of time I've been recording. Unfortunately, I, I can't stay for too long. So, Panerai. Let's just go up ahead here because we know that there's an exit on the road and we can try and find out. But a streak of 10 is plausible. I didn't sit down to necessarily break my record. Um, if we can do, that's great. But uh, I'm, I'm sort of feeling that we should maybe wrap it up here. So um, I might do that based on just the next couple of sites. don't recognize any of these places either. So and I, looking for them uh, as, as well. Gardinas Ronda. Kaunas. You know what? It bit me twice. I'm going to guess Lithuania. Or at least get in there. Just because the, the language looks a little unusual to me, I don't recognize it. No, it doesn't have any of the... It isn't Lithuania, but um, what the hell? Let's uh, just go with a guess and we'll end it. Oh, my goodness, it's Lithuania. Oh, would you believe it? I was about to finish the video. Oh. Don't say I'm not plowing on here. I cannot believe that is Lithuania. That is ridiculous. Oh, dear. So lucky. Right. The sun is in the south. The street names are things like Wolf. This is possibly Alaska or Canada. I know Alaska is not a country. <gasps> the images are so bad. I'm, I'm not able to read anything. If, and if you can't do that, you're kind of doomed, I'm afraid. What do we have here? Come on. Report wildfires, wildfire danger. 1888. I think one then is maybe American. We are clearly somewhere remote. <sighs> what does this sign say? Come on. 
I don't know in Canada. What's the Canada country code? Is it is it one as well? Like like North America? I don't think so. That would be different. Oh, the images are so bad. We'd I swear if I could read those signs, we'd know where we are. Um Because it would, I'm sure it gives the game away. You know, it says something, I'm sure. This has a kind of Canadian feel to it, if I'm honest, over an American one. Definitely, we're in one of those two countries. So, look, we've got some cross there, which means maybe a medical facility. Which means a sign. This one looks a little clearer. Larger than life, it says. Yukon. That says Yukon. Which is a state in Canada. Or a, I think, province, they, they call them. It says larger than life, Y-U-K-O-N. So, I'm pretty sure we're in Yukon, which is way up here. Uh, so, maybe we're in Whitehorse or Dawson City. But I'm going for that as a guess. That's right, we weren't in either of those two towns, but we were there. Look at that crest, that's very interesting. Right, well there's an intersection here, so it should, should have some signs maybe. Oh, now there's a truck in the way, but Martin Skaza. Interesting uh, spelling of his name there. Lots of things. This C with the hat on it, you know, I, I associate with dot CZ. We've been there before. Checha. Oh, not Austria, as I've pressed. We've seen it before, so we'll go with the we'll go with the guess. That is correct. We're right by a sign here, so let's see what we can do. Posadas and Cata, cataratas, cataratas and posadas. Uh, not sure. Posadas. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Turn around. Wonder which way to go. There's another sign there. Iguazu. Okay, interesting. Those are, I think, some famous waterfalls. Uh, the sun is in the north here, by the way. So, it's dead ahead of us. This does look jungly. I was just, just, just racking my brains there, but I didn't recognize a single one of those. But Iguazu, I recognize. PTO, I don't know. But the Iguazu Falls, I think, are... That now the problem is is that they're on the border, so that's going to be a tough one for us to figure out which side of the road we're on, which side of the border we're on. But I think they are here. Foz, Do, Iguazu. Oh no, and then it's Iguazu, I G U A Z U. Look, that's interesting. Foz do Iguazu is the Brazilian, or I should say Portuguese spelling. But we can tell here that Iguazu is this, the um, uh, the Spanish, or where we are now, Argentina. So there's multiple countries here. So what are we doing? There's Paraguay, 
Argentina and Brazil. I'm going to rule out Brazil, but that could mean that we are in Paraguay as well. PTO Iguazu. What's the other... I'm going to go back to the beginning and look at this, these signs here and just try and find the other cities then because that's put me in a, in a peculiar neck of the woods in the world. Um, going with Iguazu, there are famous sort of beautiful fall uh, waterfalls, um, as I've said already. Cataratas. PTE, oh no. Posadas is there. Posadas is there. Which is also in Argentina, but who's to say that Who's to say that it's not signposted still through Paraguay, you know? I need to find these other towns. Posadas. The other ones are nowhere near as far away. Posadas and Cataratas. I don't see it. Cataratas de Iguazu. Esperanza. PTO is is must be Puerto. And we're looking Puerto Esperanza. Right, we've got several clues there. We're in Argentina, certainly. Well, this is an interesting one. Um Don't recognize any of this. Apartments. Is that Greek, maybe? Possible Greek as an early candidate. Okay. Dina's Market. So there's definitely some English language around as well. And rooms. So I think we're in somewhere touristy here because the other place was advertising rooms as well. Oh, there's some more signs there. Definitely, oh, look at that. We've got a flag. Got a flag there. Definitely a Greek flag. I think that's a Greek flag, right? It looks like a Greek flag. Everything about this is screaming Greece to me. So let us go with the guess. <sighs> I mean, it could just be a Greek restaurant, but... The rest of the place looks Greek as well, to be honest. So, I'm inclined to go with it. Boom. All right. And all of a sudden, here we are. We find ourselves at the limit, 15. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? <laughs> We're by an airport, which is good. The reason an airport is good is because it will have a sign on it saying which airport it is, from which we could figure out which country we're in. So, warning. Can't read the rest of it. We've got a rack, and we're being tailed by a car. Telltale signs of Nigeria. Not going to rely on that. Although the 
people there do look African, so it's plausible, isn't it? It's plausible. We definitely buy an airfield. Oh, and look at this, we're by the coast, actually. Is that the coast? I think it is. And it's out to the south, which again, plausible for Nigeria. Had a long round the other day where we ended up in Lagos, didn't we? And uh, after some searching, so I've spent a bit of time in Nigeria recently. Oh, just come on, just want to follow this around. Come on. It's such a windy road, and every time you turn a corner, you've got to reorient the camera. Come on. I'm just looking for more than more than my hunch at the moment. I said we're by an airport, but we've really lost it, to be honest. We've 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 travelled away from it and it's going to be impossible to figure out how to go back. So what do we have here? Was that a sign there? Yes. Usoma dispensary. Western NG. Let's get in there. Nigeria. No. Well, it certainly isn't the same flag. Niger. It's not Niger flag. It's not the Ghanaian flag. It's not any of these flags. So maybe it's not Let's just see if there's a place called Usoma here. Because we can see a... So KSM West NG, I think might mean West Nigeria. Construction of maternity wing, Usoma Dispensary. If Usoma is the name of a town or a place, then we're in. And we're possibly on the coast, we said, didn't we? Because we saw some sea. Although this is Lagos. I mean, this is a huge city area. So the only other option then maybe is this town up here on the on this area. And again, I don't see you, Soma, there. The car, the rack, the fact we're being tailed... And the fact that that sign says NG on it, again, make me think of Nigeria. I'm not so put off by the flag, because that's possibly a, a regional flag or regional demarcation of where we are. So let's go down here a bit further. But again, I must, must, <laughs> I've been saying all evening I won't play for too long. And uh, here we are in the rabbit hole of GeoGuessr. But that's why we love it, isn't it? Because... It's a challenge. More clues yet here, perhaps. Lakeside Medical Center. Oh, again, a lake. We talked about a lake, didn't we? I think we're probably here. I really do. What a beautiful country, wherever we are. What a beautiful country.
wonder if these trucks will have anything on them. I think we're almost certainly in Africa. Just with this kind of painted on the side lettering and so on. Danger goods, transit goods, danger petroleum. lots and lots of petroleum again as we've established nigeria is a an oil nation but um you know again that might just be because there's a an airport nearby for example so who knows axon energy We're seeing more signs of life here now. Right, what do we have here? Come on. Give me some love. We've got these gates painted, actually. That's interesting. And they're in similar colors to the other flag that we saw. So I wonder, it, again, could be regional. We saw this KSM as well. Kenya! <gasps> Kenya Pipeline Company. Boy, am I glad I found that. Why were we thinking Nigeria again? It's because we were being followed by a car. Kenya. Lakeside. Of course, a couple different lakes, but... You know what? I'm not even going to look for it. It's in there somewhere. Guess. That's correct. My streak is 16 countries. We've done it, people. We've actually gotten to the next one. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Thank you. This is um, this is that famous one as well, actually. So that's good. We don't have to mess around too much. This is um, what's it called? Siam Reap in Cambodia. I think. Let's just let's just double check that. Yes, that's right. Pretty sure of that. Um, if I'm wrong now, that will be tremendously embarrassing, but at least I've beaten my streak. So let's go for it. That's correct. The streak is now at 17 countries. God, that makes up for a long Nigeria round, doesn't it? Um, interesting architecture in this building here. Possibly Japanese? Don't know. Nope, absolutely not Japanese, right. Viva el Entremido. What are those people taking photos of there? A bit strange, isn't it? There's nothing really to look at. Parking. So again, I think we're we're in a South American country. Um, you know, the sun is firmly in the north there, but quite low in the sky actually. So that would suggest we're we're quite far in the southern hemisphere. We've got um, we're in a major city. Uh, the, s the sun is pretty far north, so. You know, this is suggesting to me that we're in Argentina, possibly Chile. This should confirm. It doesn't quite. Come on. 
good old sine usually sees it off. We've got twice the sine here. Dot com dot what? Argent. Oh my goodness. Dr. Gaston Ramon. I'm annoyed that that sign didn't confirm, you know, anything more useful, to be honest. We're clearly in a major city. The quality of this image is slightly better. So again, let's just try that one again. Artigas. No, unfortunately, that's not really helping. Um... So, you know, this looks like as good a road as any. Let's progress down here a bit. Now that we've broken the streak, I'm... Uh, broken the record, sorry. I'm keen to carry on the streak a bit. Um, what do we have here? I'm inclined to think Argentina. This is clearly some medical facility. Um... What do we have here? The ASSE, and it's in the Argentine colors as well. So that's suggesting to me the same. It's just too far away to read. Um, major signs now. Oh, we just went under them. But uh, Lots of taxis as well. They never say where they are, though, do they? They never say where they're from, I mean. Avenue Italia, Avenue Este, Routers 1 and 5. I'm just going to nip into um, to, uh, Buenos Aires, is the word I'm looking for. Um, Let's see if there's number one or five coming out of there. And if not, we're going to go look in Chile very briefly. Route one there. There are quite a lot of... Okay, so what's this then? Goes Terminal. So it says uh, Avenue Italia and Este. The one. I don't see the five. The seven, the four. There are avenues, A, V, dot as well, which is the same. And it's not avenue, it's Al. Avenue Italia. I wonder if we can't just find Avenue Italia briefly. I think I think we're in the right spot here. Why doesn't this road have a name on it? Okay, it does eventually. Sorry. <laughs> um New Santa Fe, Avenue Cordoba. Bergano, Belgrano, sorry. No. I think, I think we're in the right spot. Routes one and five. Big Christ there, Christ Cross. Interesting. What flag is that? Possibly the Paraguay flag or the Uruguay flag even. That's what I think what I mean. Ah. <sighs> Uruguay. 
it's almost certainly Uruguay. There we go. Montevideo is where we were. All right, on to 18. France. We're almost certainly in France. Trying to get somewhere. Goodness, this road is long. Any signs here? Nope, no signs. Of course, the risk is you're going the wrong way up the road, so that is going to be a tough one. Coming across some buildings up here. Not having much luck in this direction, I'm actually going to start again and go the other way. Let's see what's this way. Sometimes you just have to sort of cut your loss and if you're not feeling the vibe, you're not feeling the vibe. So let us go this way instead. Again, I'm pretty sure this feels Northern France-ish to me. And I'm, look at that, we went the other way and it was worth it. Good stuff, might as well. Let's just double check, we're, we've got the leaving an area sign here, don't we? So let's get in there. Osuva. Dunno, but that definitely means we're leaving somewhere. So let's go this way because I'm not sure about France anymore, of course. That that sign didn't really confirm it for me, to be honest. But now we're on a main road, we should be getting more information and we should be going into a town here. Cafe Jinka, no, right, interesting. 52 meters on the left, let's go up there. I saw that there was a URL on that sign, but unfortunately it was just too hard to make out. So we're gonna have to rely on something else. So it's 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 obviously it's no longer France. So we're on to other things. Could be Lithuania again. Could be another Baltic state. Hungary maybe. We're approaching some some well, what looked like to be a relatively major intersection, but maybe not. What are we doing here? Come on. And it looks like we're disappearing off into some farmland again, so that's frustrating.
another sign. Again, just probably too far away to read. Quite an industrial area as well, it seems. There's a bit of industrial. I'm very reluctant to go down there. I don't really want to go any further, to be honest. Um, we should be able to, to, to hazard a pretty good guess from here. I'm inclined to go with Poland at the moment, failing the sights of any other interesting clues. Don't know why the arrow there says that we could only go backwards, because there's clearly more going on. We've got a train line here. I thought there was a pretty major junction back here, but maybe I jumped over it. Um, Did we miss that? Is that? Are we being silly? No, possibly not. Is it back here? Aha! Saldus. Can we go this way? I think I skipped over this. That was a mistake. I'm glad to have come back here. Which way are we going now? I think I was just following this car. This looks a little more major, and in fact, there's a flag, so good. Ah, it's a business. A logo of some kind. Right. This looks a bit more major, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Very good. Right. We're on track. Western LV, that says. So Latvia, possible solution. Saldus. This means we're entering the town, so there should be more clues. Dot LV though, it wasn't a dot LV. Uh, it wasn't a domain extension, so uh, not relying on it to tell me where I am, but definitely, you know, it said it. So, and it sort of may, might fit with the language, to be honest, at the moment. Mightn't it? So, now we're entering a bit more of a town that could help. Riga. Pretty major clues now. This should be it. We've got Riga on the A9 and can't see that one at all. And Izere. So Latvia would make sense. We've got Riga. And we're coming in from the south. So this is in a southerly direction. So it's north, east, south, west. So Riga is east of us on the A9. Does that make sense? We've got the A10 and the A8. So there is the A9, which does go west from Riga. That's right. Can't see the next. What a bloody terrible position for that tree to be in. Right in front of the sign, for goodness sake. Can't read that one. And Izere. So do we see Izere somewhere down here? We don't, but I'm pretty pretty convinced of it. So, you know, if it's not there, we're wrong. That's right. Okay, next round. Interesting. Funny gates there on that, this place. No, I don't think that's actually a sign. 
and out there looks pretty like we're leaving the town. So I'm just going to go to the end here to see the exit signs. Again, we've got these signs with the red crosses through them. Malamacha and Kimmas, Kismas Shed. That's strange. Um, don't recognize them, of course, but anyway. Um, we could be in the same place we were before in, in uh, Latvia. Oh, come on. Turn me around. There we go. Right. Let us progress. We're going to progress into the town here to try and find something of interest. So let's see. Again, all we need is a domain name, for example, on the side of a truck and like the truck that we just passed or a flag and we are talking. Oh, what is that? Dot SK. Come on. Yes, we can get closer as well. Always worth trying to get closer. Dot SK. So would that be Slovakia or... What, what do the Swedish call themselves? Do they, they obviously don't call them, themselves Swedish. Do, are, they, are they Svej or SV... Or Svenska, or something like that. I don't know. What do the Swedish call Sweden? Um, if it's Svenska or something, it, it you know it's possibly an SK as well. But SK would lean me towards Slovakia at the moment. So let's diagnose oh, something diagnostics. Diagnosing your car, I think that is. DPD trucks, they are everywhere. At least they are in the UK. And here, wherever this is. Um, and it looks like we really are leaving the town. Ooh. Signpost, I think we just passed. No, maybe not. Maybe that's. I saw a flash of blue. Not these ones, obviously. We've got some more major signs here, so we should be able to figure this out. Bratislava and Sered. I think that that cons confirms um, where we are, is, is being in Slovakia. Bratislava's of I lost Bratislava once and I, I didn't find it and uh, as a result I ended up uh, losing a game I maybe it was the um the uh sort of uh knockout round thing we were playing or, or something like that but um Bratislava 46k and that is we're coming into this roundabout now from the from the north we're heading south and this is to our right so if you're heading south and going going right, that puts you going to the west. So if Bratislava is to the west, 46k, we should find Sered to the east by 11. There's Sered, there's Bratislava. Guess. And we've done it. Folks, I'm going to leave this here. That is a solid beating of my GeoGuessr country streak record. Um, 20, I did not set out to do that this evening. I thought I'd give it a pop or two, uh, and there was a few failed rounds there in the beginning, and then all of a sudden we got on a roll, and um, it's pretty late here now, it's midnight, and so I've been uh, meaning to sort of uh, log off and, uh, and, and get on with the rest of my evening, but... Um, but, you know, it's been really worth it. I I thoroughly enjoy these challenges. It's why we play GeoGuessr. It's such fun to see all of the different locations uh, we had in the world. Why don't we just hit the next round and see if it's something that's absolutely flipping obvious. Um, oh, 
what do we have there? We've got some Tiende del Vido Nino and something there to do with direct TV. Oh, it says Ecuador. <laughs> Why don't we make it 21? We found ourselves twice in Ecuador. Who knows? Um, this obviously might be wrong. I haven't done any searching, but yes, 21. And slewing around here. Benadica. Ulisa SV Benedica. Why don't we go to... I think I've mentioned Poland several times in this game, but not actually guessed there. So why don't we go for Poland? Oh, it was Slovakia. I think I had it on Slovakia a second ago. <laughs> right, folks, that truly is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll say I'll see you in the next video, but honestly, I can forgive you for not watching it because this has been an absolute mega slog. And if you've held with me through this far, well, then what can I say? I really appreciate it. I do hope you've enjoyed this, learned something new at least perhaps, and or played along with me to, uh, to try and see how well you'd have done too. Do let me know in the comments below if I missed anything that could have sped it all up a bit. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.